people this week. Edamaros Peleg, who is our graphic designer and all around useful, helpful person who does everything for us um, outside of our web designer, Liam York, who's also amazing. Uh, Edamaros has started taking all of our podcast and turning the reviews into YouTube clips with nice animations and stuff. It's awesome. Nice. If you look up Game Brain Podcast on YouTube, you'll find it. I'm going to throw up a video of what we're about to do on that as well. We're going to literally roll for turn order, and I came up with what I think is kind of a brilliant way to do it. Now, we're not just going to roll randomly because we still have that issue of, well, Jake, Jake's episode just aired last week, right? So if Jake rolled highest right now, his episode would go next. That would be a little unfair to everybody else, especially like if the person who hasn't gone in two months rolls badly, they would not, we might not hear from them for four months. So we're going to try to skew it a little bit, but we're going to give a little room for variance here. Uh, and what we're going to do is every single person is going to roll a different dice, a different die, a different sided die. Uh, and it will be based on the position they were in in the last round. So for example, Brilliant. Jake is going to roll a D4. The best he can roll is a four. Now, the person before that is Jesse. Jesse's going to roll a D6. The best he could roll Hi. is a six. Uh, Paul, yeah, highest number, and we're not going to be choosing. Highest number isn't going to choose their position. Highest number is going to be highest, lowest position, highest position in, you know, first episode, second episode, third episode of the round. Uh, so Paul, everybody take your dice as I say them. Paul is going to be rolling a D8 and Trey is going to be rolling a D12. Alfred, uh, what, oh, sorry, D10, D10. Sorry, I forgot I had 10. Alfred, who's not here. Someone is going to be rolling for Alfred. Alfred's going to be rolling a D12 then. Because Trey loves to roll so much, why don't we give him... Yeah, Trey can roll for Alfred. <laughs> and uh, Dimitri is going to be rolling a beautiful D20. Uh, Tom is going to be rolling a D30. Good luck rolling above a Ooh. three on that, Tom. And Elder, uh, because he has never done an episode before, we're going to give him the best chance of going early in the round. He's going to roll two D20s, giving him a possibility of... Let me check the math on that. I think it's 40. Nice. Uh, so everybody, we're going to roll. Now, ties, re-roll. Okay, ties re-roll. So you might have a number and think you're stuck with it, but you might get a re-roll at it if somebody rolls the same number as you later on down the line. Now, we're not going to re-roll until the end, until everybody has their number, right? We're going to, yes. You, if, if there's ties, you keep re-rolling. I object. Elder cannot roll a one. That's true. The lowest he can have is two. Elder also has a bell curve. It's not fair. <laughs> uh, so, Jake, why don't you start us off, Mr. D4? Jake rolled a four. Oh, he critted. Oh. That's a crit. Wow. Full Whoa. crit on a D4. Yeah. Uh, Jesse, do you want to roll your D6? Can someone give Jesse the little thing? Because he's a... Uh... Here we go, Jess. Uh, <laughs> Jesse with the one. Oh, of course. All right. So if everybody can keep their number, we can line the numbers up somewhere so we can start seeing them in order. There we go. Paul, you are your Mr. D8. Seven. A seven. Nice. Okay, seven's good. Let's start putting them in order. Yep. <laughs> oh, no. Ooh, a tie. Yeah, roll more. Seven. Yes. So we're gonna put the seven underneath that. Uh, well, and I guess we'll, we'll, we'll no, okay. we should. We should not re-roll yet. Okay, not re-roll yet. Yes, Alfred we will wait for the re-rolls. Alfred is a ten. Alfred's a ten. We always knew Alfred was a ten. Dimitri, Mr. D twenty. A two. Oh, two. <laughs> it goes wow. way back there. Back of the line. Back of the line. Tom, good luck here. Dimitri, I'm going to roll below you. Tom, right now. The, I'm horrible. He rolled at a this. two on a D20. A 30. Oh, no. oh. You were talking so much smack about how bad you were going to roll. Unbelievable. Do we want to change Elder to percentile? <laughs> <laughs> All right, Elder. You're, 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 you're skewed D40 here. I'm feeling the pressure. <laughs> uh, 21 21 is 21. good boom alright now we have a roll off between Paul and Trey they both rolled a 7 <gasps> 8 for Paul two. Dimitri gets for another Trey. roll Dimitri no, no, gets no, another no. roll no, no, no. what do you mean no, no. No, no, no. That's the whole reason we did that at the end, because because he stayed. They only have a tiebreaker between the two of them, right? Um, all right. Listen, so that's Liz, how you, you want to play. I guarantee you. That would be I'm perfect. Be Tom. All right. So the order will be Tom first, meta game harder, uh, then Elder, then you guys are then Alfred, then Paul, Paul Trey, Trey, Jake, not last with his D four. Jake killing it. Uh, Dimitri and Jesse. 
That is the order of this round. We have rolled successfully for it. You asked us to roll. We literally rolled for turn order. Woo! Uh, you can watch the video of that on uh, YouTube, Game Brain Podcast YouTube, if you want. Uh, you can stop recording now, Josie. Thank you very much. Yeah.